Hey Kids Life, I hope you guys are having a great week. I have a question. Do any of you guys like to do puzzles? I love puzzles, but I want you to take a second and imagine that you were doing this puzzle, but you didn't have the box. You didn't know what the puzzle looked like. And I only gave you a few pieces at a time and you had to put the whole puzzle together. That would be really hard, maybe even impossible. That's because there's no plan. Today, we're gonna to be continuing our series, Post-it Notes from God. If God were to leave you a post-it note, what do you think it would say? Something really short, something really important that he would want you to know. I think one of the post-it notes that God would leave for you is this. I have a plan for you. That's what we're going to be talking about today, because plans are really important. Does anybody know what this is? This is a blueprint for a house. This is what carpenters use in order to be able to put a house together. Without that, they would know how many pieces of wood to use, where to put the wood, the door might even end up on the roof. It would look crazy. It would be a mess. That's, that would happen if the carpenters didn't have a plan. And that's the same for our life. See, God has a plan for each and every one of us. And before we were ever born, he already knew exactly what that plan was going to be. Where we were going to go, what we were going to do, who we were going to meet, where we were going to live. He knew it all because he created that plan. See, he planned out our whole lives to be unique because he loves us and we're special to him. It's true that God created a plan for us, but we have to follow that plan in order to be successful and to live a life for God. How do you figure out how to live a life for God? Well, let's see. Let's say you decide you want to live a life on your own. Let's imagine if the carpenters did that. What if they just took their blueprint and decided not to use it? That would be absolutely crazy, wouldn't it? They just would start taking their hammers and nailing nails wherever they see. It would be a mess. That's the same thing that would happen in our life if we didn't follow God's plan. But how do you know what God's plan is? Do you ask me? Do you go buy a fortune cookie? Do you ask a magic eight ball? No, you find God's plan right here in the Bible. And you also find his pr plan by praying. So we find his plan in the Bible because the Bible gives us special instructions on how to live our life and how to live a life that's pleasing to God. If you ever don't know what to do in life, you look in the Bible for an answer. And sometimes the Bible might not always give you an answer. And that's when you pray and you ask God for wisdom for what to do. If you follow the instructions we have in the Bible and you pray, you're going to stay on track to live that life that God has planned for you. I want you to take a second and think, but what if you mess up? What if you come to a place in your life where you know you haven't been following God's plan? Is everything over? Are you just a failure? Is your life going to fail? Well, no, because God is a loving God. We all make mistakes, and he always forgives us, and we can always get back on track to following God's plan. See, if I got off course, God can put me back on track. So when you make a mistake, admit it. Pray to God, ask him for forgiveness and to help because he wants to help you because he loves you and he has an amazing plan for your life. Kids Life, I have a challenge for you guys this week. My challenge verse for you guys, I want you guys to memorize it, say it to me on Sunday, say it to me on one of the Zoom calls and I'm gonna get you a prize. Our Bible verse is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans to give you a future and a hope. Say it one more time. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans to give you a future and a hope. All right, Kids Life, let's pray. God, thank you for having an amazing plan for our life. Even before we were born, you already knew everything about us. Thank you for loving us so much. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, Kids Life, have a great week. I'll see you guys later.